What do you do when you shuffle? When, you're when you shuffle, what, what is shuffling? Where you walk forward and you don't really like lift your feet off of the ground. You just slowly shuffle forward, like move forward. Right. Yes. Thank you. That's exactly what human life is. It's like to Shakespeare, to Hamlet. It's tiring. It's fatiguing. The road is long. That's why you're shuffling. When we shuffle out of this mortal coil. So human frame is like a mortal coil. And when we shuffle out of it, that's his way of describing death. Imagism and concretization. Two things you have learned today. Practice that. I write poetry. And when you write poetry, you have to use images. Everything has to become alive, a smell, a sound, a touch, a color. They have to become alive. Then when people read your stuff, your, your, your writing, there is life in it. We call it vitality. Yeah. When we shuffle off this mortal coil. That makes calamity of so long life. Um, if you say human life is disastrous, but he says that makes calamity of so long life, as if, as if that fear of death is something that does active actions and makes yeah. So so another lesson you should learn was, is what I call animation. I'm not talking about movies, okay? I'm not talking about movies, animated movies. Animation means when you write, you have to put action animation into what you write. So use active verbs that makes bear, right? Again, he's, he's using a lot of images, whips and scorns of time. He, he, he simply doesn't say the, the, the suffering of time, right? Whips, you can see whips, you can see scorn, scornful look. Pounds, um, laws delay. Law is something abstract. Love is abstract. High office is abstract. But he is describing all of these abstract things as if they are alive, they are living people. Law delays. Love despises you. High office is insolent towards you. So all of them become alive because the little trick you are using here is what is called, what, what is the little trick used to here? That abstract, non-animate or inanimate things are described in such a way they become living people. Well, what is that uh, linguistic device? Personification. Personification, right, great. Personification. Learn that, okay? 